Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. In today's video, guys, what I got for you is going to be something I'm pretty excited about. So as you guys can see, we're back with the deck wizard here on Pokemon TCG Online. And today, the deck we're actually going to be making is going to feature my favorite Pokemon, which is going to be Blaziken. Now, I'm very pumped about this because anytime I get to play Blaziken, I'm a happy guy. But before we get into it, I just want to really quickly explain how the deck wizard works because there was some confusion on the last video. So essentially what you do is you pick one to two cards and then the deck wizard will randomly generate a deck for you based off of the two cards or up to two cards that you give them. And so you really don't have any control of the deck outside of the cards that you pick. Now granted the person who was confused about it, I'm pretty sure drinks plain milk and colors outside the lines, but you know. Yeah. Boy. That escalated quickly. I just want to go ahead and explain it to you in case you weren't familiar with the deck wizard. So we're going to go ahead and see what the deck wizard gives us. Also, if I sound like crap, it is because I have COVID. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. We don't have much, but we have some stuff here. All right, so first, let's just go ahead and take a look at Blaziken VMAX. So, of course, it is a rapid strike, and it has the attack clutch for 60 during your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. And then max blaze for 130 for two of any energy, which is really nice. Choose up to two of your bench rapid strike Pokemon and attach an energy card from your discard pile to each of them. So just a really good little energy acceleration card. And of course, it's my favorite Pokemon. And I'm pretty excited to see how this deck is going to play. And okay, never mind. What? Nope. Okay, that's that's decent. All right, but we also have Inborn here with Explosive Fire Dance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may look at the top eight cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find or to your Pokemon any way you like. So honestly, overall, just a energy acceleration deck. Unfortunately, we don't really have any rare candies, but we definitely have a way to kind of prevent some special energy coming down with Fan of Wave. So this is really good. If we play a metal deck, we can get rid of Coating Energy. And we also have Rapid Strike Mustard, which I don't think we're ever going to get to play. And we also have Janine, which is a semi-decent supporter. So we, we have that to work with. And we have Training Court, so we can get our energy back. And then Force Switch, which is just in here because I guess Inbor has a 4 retreat cost. Uh, we also have a Great Catcher, which is pretty decent. And then, of course, to round out the deck, we have 20 Fire Energy. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a interesting deck to play with. So we're just going to see how this goes. So I'm just going to name this Blaziken. I can't spell. Blaziken Deck Wizard. And let's kind of go with like a fire theme for this one. So I'm thinking maybe a Victini coin. We'll do that. And then deck box. Um, let's see. What, what do we got here we can work with? We'll go with the Reshizard box. And then we will finalize with some finnegan sleeves let's go with that i think that'll be that'll be beautiful yeah we'll go with that so we're just gonna go ahead and save the deck and then we're gonna hop right into a game here on pokemon tcg online but i hope you guys are doing well and don't worry about me with the COVID thing i am staying in high spirits and just resting a lot and i finally feel good enough to record a video um i have it's been pretty hit or miss as far as like how i've been feeling lately so I'm I'm feeling okay. So we're just gonna play this. So I'm gonna see how I can how I can fare right now. <laughs> All right. So my opponent has the Bidoof deck box. We do start with a Blaziken V. So maybe we can get the Blaziken V Max out. So my, my goal with this video is to get the V Max out and take a prize. That's that's the goal. So if we can at least do that, I'll be happy. My opponent does start off with the Snorlax with Gormandize which is going to allow my opponent to basically draw until he has seven. And he just kind of gets to play some energy down. And my opponent probably slaps that Mew down immediately. So that way my Zara Aura that he thinks is in my deck can attack him. But joke's on him. This is a deck wizard deck. It's awful. <laughs> All right. So we see a pretty decent Gormandize. Uh, he really just wasted that scoop up net so he could uh, just kind of increase his hand size. I don't necessarily want to attack. I can one-shot that Snorlax anyway if he doesn't disrupt my hand. So I'm just going to pass the turn. And I can't attack anyway, but yeah. If I could, I wouldn't have there. So I do have the Phantom Waves. So we're going to see if maybe he throws down a special energy. I can get rid of that. Uh, we are playing against an Inteleon list, it looks like. That is very bad for me. Uh, but like I said, guys, the goal of this video is to just 
take a prize. That's that's all we can do. <laughs> if I win, that'd be even better. But the goal is just one prize. Uh, so we see a bunch of level ball coming down. So my opponent is going to be getting the triple sobble down, it looks like, turn one. So that means next turn he is going to be able to search out for a lot of different things. We see a cape of toughness come down. And unfortunately, that is going to prevent us from being able to take that turn one knockout. Which is unfortunate. Um, so... Really, I guess he's maybe going to burn another card or two. Or no, he's just going to go straight into Gorman dies. Okay. So pretty pretty decent start for my opponent. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just evolve into the Blaziken VMAX. I'm going to get rid of it. Well, no. Do I want to get rid of his stadium? His stadium is not really affecting me right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that out there. And we're just going to max Blaze for 130. Or should we clutch? Well, if I clutch, he's probably just going to be able to get the Drizzle down or however you want to pronounce it. I say Drizzle because it's funny. Um, he's probably just going to be able to get Drizzle down and search out for a switch and just get it out of the active spot anyway. Uh, but we do see Koga's Trap coming down. That's a little annoying. So, hmm. Doesn't look like my opponent has too much here. We do get a second Blaze can be down. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can hit this. We're going to go for it, guys, and we do actually hit it, taking a prize. So there we go, guys. The challenge is done. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys... I'm kidding. No, we're going to watch me get smacked here. We're going to watch me just get absolutely clapped right here. And so hopefully next turn, this Janine hooks me up with some pretty decent stuff. Ideally, a Blaziken VMAX and a Switch, potentially. Uh, but we do see the Vika Volt coming down. And so, yeah, that's going to be coming up here. And it looks like an item lock type deck, which I'm actually down for. This is pretty cool. All right, so I'm hoping that Janine gives me what I need here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play the Janine. And we do get the switch. Let's take a look here. Blaziken does have a two retreat cost. So we're going to take the energy and the switch. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We will switch into this Blaziken here. Oh yeah, we do have the training court. Forgot to play it down. My bad, guys. And then we will retreat into this Blaziken here. We can use the training court to get back one of our fire energy. And now we will just max blaze for 130 damage. And we will drag an energy down to this Blaziken. And it'll be pretty much good to go next turn. And then we do have the Janine in our hand also. So that way, maybe we can just get something next turn. All right, well, we see another Bird Keeper coming down. My opponent is drawing a significant amount of cards here. Um, unfortunately, not really hitting the Drizzle just yet, which is pretty surprising. I assume here in a minute, though, they will probably start coming down just because of that massive hand size that he has. Goodness. While my opponent's playing, I was thinking about something the other day. This is a really random thought. Something I find really cringy is people that like thumbs up their own comments on YouTube. I don't know why. I was just thinking about that, but that's that's just cringy to me. I don't know why. Um, we're gonna grab the Janine, and holy crap, we got a victory! What? Yo, we won a game! No freaking way! We actually won a game with this monstrosity. Hang on a sec, guys. Let me let me just look at the time. How much we got here? What is that? Nine minutes about? Is one of my record? No, we're playing another game. No, no, no. We're going to play one more game. But anyway, I was just thinking about that randomly. He's like people who thumbs up their own comments. For some reason, that's really cringy to me. YouTubers that thumb up their own videos, though, however, I completely understand that because of the algorithm. Like, apparently likes get shown more in uh, people's feeds and such. So I completely understand that. Speaking of that, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. But I apologize. The uploads kind of slowed down there. Um... I kind of went into detail why they did in the last video, uh, but right now it's pretty much just because I have not been feeling well whatsoever. And like, when I do feel good, it's like for just a tiny bit. And by good, I mean just well enough to where I can sit up and maybe move around a little bit. See, now this is a little more of what I was thinking, like, you know, hey, let's just get, you know, absolutely molly whopped here. 
yeah, we actually won a game. Uh, granted, my opponent had a really, really bad start and just wasn't hitting anything, I guess. And he noticed that his Vika Volt B was going down. Uh, but we see a switch. And I just... Okay. So for some reason, my opponent just kind of played some stuff down. And I really wish I could get down the one card here and had that. See, this card here is decent. <laughs> But I'm never going to get to use it. So that's that's like the bad thing there. Um, I mean, my opponent's probably going to have the Chaotic Swell anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and play that down. And then we will high jump kick for a big whopping 50. Yeah, i just been sick. Like, that's, that's really what's been going on there. I called it. I knew my opponent was going to have the Chaotic Swell. So basically the same thing. So we see the Eternatus V coming down, and we see a big research, so stuff's probably going to be just smacked down here. Yep, here we go. So the Eternatus deck is absolutely going off now. I'm in a lot of trouble. I have a pig and a chicken defending me, a, f a piece of bacon and some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like this is, I have a food deck, okay? I'm going to play that down because why not? And then we're just going to do that. And then we're going to high jump kick again for 50 damage. That's all I can do, guys. That's all I can do. <laughs> but I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I do miss you guys. I do miss making videos. Um, normally I am recording or I'm doing something related to my channel. But lately I have just not been feeling up to it. So that's just where I've kind of been lately. But I do miss you guys. And I appreciate the amazing support, by the way, guys. We're closing in on 1,300 subscribers, and that is absolutely freaking awesome. So thank you to everyone that has been supporting me. It, it definitely means a lot, and I really appreciate it. So my opponent does Marnie me. I'm actually pretty happy about that because I have the definition of useless cards in my hand. And if... Okay, what am I talking about? This this Blaziken's going down. This Yeah, okay. Yerp. <laughs> well... Um, yeah, oh, it was exactly 210, wow. We draw the freaking Blaziken VMAX, and he just takes it out. So we're going to go ahead and play down Pig Knight. We're going to go ahead and just do that. We're going to do that, and then we're going we're, we're to pass. Because that's all we got, guys. <laughs> the food deck is not working. We have Kentucky Fried Chicken and Slabs of Bacon in this deck. That's that's what we're rocking right now. Um, Let's see. Janine, maybe? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we, we don't really have any way out of this, do we? We do not. See, this is a little more of what I was expecting here. So we're just going to evolve into our next Slab of Bacon. We're going to attach an Energy give my opponent that you have a good deck and then they're going to take me out and that'll probably be the end of the video <laughs> so yeah that is it guys we, that's that's a little more of what i was expecting but i apologize the games weren't the best uh i just wanted to try to get a recording knocked out as fast as i could just because i'm probably going to start feeling bad here really soon but thank you guys all for the amazing support it does mean a lot and i want you guys to know that i do really appreciate it so um, you guys do me a big solid favor, please, and just have a great day and just enjoy your life. Take care, guys. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.